Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the final concert in my Towards Spring concert series. Thank you for tuning in. This concert tonight, I would like to dedicate to my friend Ray Blunt with much love. Uh, Ray is a very experienced guitarist and knowledgeable musician, and he's had a bit of a tough start to the year. So we're all sending you strength and love, Ray, um, from myself and all your mates from the, uh, well, all the guitarists along the south coast here. Best wishes. I'm going to perform this concert on this lovely little guitar, which dates from the 1830s. It's still a classical guitar. Um, it's an exquisite little thing. I'll talk more about it as we go through the pieces. And I'll be playing music from the same period as the guitar, music from the early 19th century by two composers, two wonderful chaps, uh, Fernando Saw and Mauro Giuliani. And really this is this is music from the, my very early days as a guitarist. It's wonderful to look at this repertoire in the early years of your playing. There's so much to learn from it. It's profoundly beautiful and it's also fun to play. And it's a real privilege to be playing it on an instrument which um, who knows? Perhaps Saw himself may even have laid his fingers on this guitar, you never know. Going to start off with some pieces by Saw. First of all, the Andante Largo. Opus 5, the Andante Largo, you know. And then three little studies from the the collection of studies that Segovia put together, that, that amazing book, The 20 Studies, known as the Segovia Saw 20 Studies. So three of those. But first, the Andante Largo, which is a big favorite of mine. And I've played this for many years. These opening notes that you're about to hear were also the opening notes at my debut recital on the 4th of July, 1986, at the Purcell Room, all those years ago. Andante Largo by Saw. Thank you. 
you go, the music of Fernando Saw. Well, I have to confess, I went into a Giuliani study in that last one, but I managed to steer my way back over onto, onto Fernando Saw. Wonderful music and, and great to be playing it on this guitar. A little bit more about the guitar, which has got a label inside, and the label says John Arvey Turner. Now, John Arvey Turner, that was a music shop in London. Um, I think it still exists. I need to find out these things. They would have imported this guitar and stuck their own label in it. So it is actually uncertain who built this guitar, but uh, take it from me, it was an extremely accomplished maker. So this is a this is a beautiful instrument. And it may be my fantasy that Saw himself played it, but just allow me that thought because something this beautiful, surely Saw would have known the maker and uh, perhaps handled the timbers or sniffed the glue or something. Let's go on to the other great Saw's contemporary, Giuliani, a wonderful musician. His music is so wonderfully different from Saw's. Saw has a kind of almost a serious streak, a beauty about his, a depth and a beauty about his music. Giuliani I always think of as being in some ways more fun to play. It's got a lighter touch, but I couldn't choose between the two. So I'm going to play you some examples of Giuliani's music, beginning with his most famous tune which was used as the theme music for one of the Watch With Mother programs that used to be on when I was a little lad. This is the theme music from Tales of the Riverbank, um, which later became Hammy Hamster. But I think of it as Tales of the Riverbank. And this music, the Opus 43, number five, was used as the theme music. What with that and Freddie Phillips playing the music for Trumpton, the guitar was um, everywhere um, at lunchtime during the week on BBC One television. Black and white, of course. So I'll start with Tales of the Riverbank by Giuliani, and then I'll play some other studies by, by him. Thank you. 
There we go. How wonderful to make the parallel error in the second group of pieces. So instead of going into the Giuliani study, I, I went back to Mr. Saw. But I'm sure they're having a good laugh about that, wherever they're hanging about at the moment. Great music. There's a famous piece by Saw. Also, this is one of those pieces from the guitar repertoire which you hear played a lot. Or you used to when the guitar was heard a lot. Uh, when there was other stuff on the television other than what Jules Holland chooses us to watch. Um, I remember as a kid watching Julian Bream and John Williams and Segovia on the television. What a treat. The piece I'm talking about is Saw's set of variations on a theme from The Magic Flute by Mozart. And what this guitar has taught me is what a delicate, magical little piece this is, because when I've tried to play it before, it's felt almost heroic as an undertaking. So it's quite virtuosic. And it's a bit of crash bang wallop that I thought Saw was asking me to play. But when you play this music on, on a delicate little thing like this, things take on a different feel. So playing this guitar has really changed the way that I play this piece. The only way I can describe it is if you're used to driving a great big saloon car and then you get into a go-kart and go for a little drive round in a go-kart that's what this feels like it's a delicate little sweet little twitchy little thing that has lots to teach you so I'm going to play Saw's variations the Saw Mozart variations
saw and a little bit of Mozart thrown in. I'm going to have a little look at my nail, see what's happened. Oh, I've got mud on my cricket whites. I noticed that before, I do apologise. That's where I've spent a lot of time kneeling at the feet of the square leg umpire. That's where that mud comes from. Yeah, I think that's going to survive. Bits of nail on the floor. I was walking home from school once and uh, Mr. Watson, our Latin teacher, was umpiring the, the cricket match. The first 11 from the year above were playing and he was at square leg and he was smoking his trademark pipe. Mr. Watson's pipe was in his mouth and the bowler ran up and delivered this beautiful ball. Batsman swung hit the ball full on, very powerfully. The ball accelerated horizontally towards the square leg umpire and it hit Mr. Watson on the kneecap. And his pipe flew out of his mouth in the direction of the batsman, also accelerating horizontally and was caught by the third slip. And Mr. Watson was, well, he collapsed on the ground in pain. He was there for ages, had to be carried off. No Latin the next day. days. It's spring now, the clocks are going back tonight. This whole concert series was to mark the coming of spring to those of us that live in the northern hemisphere. So as I said last time, colourful, wonderful times lie ahead so I hope things are brightening up for all of us. I'd like to announce this is the, um, the best-selling concert of the, of the lockdown concert so far since I began doing these concerts last year. So that's really lovely to feel that these are now part of a, I don't know, a kind of creative process really. It doesn't feel like a lockdown project anymore. It feels like a concert. So I really appreciate your support. And don't forget, although there are voluntary tickets on sale and donations and stuff on my website, um, if you've had a tough pandemic, please do not pay. If you've had a tough time, if it's hit you financially, then don't even think about it. These are not behind a paywall, these concerts, so please watch. You're very welcome to watch for now. I'm going to close the concert with a slightly longer piece, this time by Mr Giuliani. And this is a piece... Um, in three movements, 
It's his Sonata in C, and it's a piece I've known for a very long time. I've never played it before in its entirety. And it always reminds me of, of my, my years at the Royal College of Music when I had a very good friend of mine that I was, I was teaching the guitar, my friend Han. He had to learn this piece for his grade eight. And uh, quite often after the pub at night, we'd go back to his, his digs and he would play me the Sonata in C and I'd play him whatever I'd been working on at college. There were happy times, and, and this piece still evokes that time. There's a, there's a freshness about, about the first movement to this very day. It's a profoundly beautiful piece. I have spent a lot of time over recent years playing the music of Bach, and I always go on about how Bach wrote um, for, the, for the greatness of God. It was Bach's music is sacred. And I really feel that Saw and Giuliani, they're more homo sapiens, they're kind of aspiring, their music, they're trying to reach heaven. They're trying to create something so beautiful and so perfect that it'll take them to heaven, whereas Bach's already there. This is very different. This is, um, this is real beautiful music. Played on an artifact from when they were alive. So Giuliani's Sonata in C, hope you enjoy this. For the sanity of my sound man, I won't, I won't say anything at the end of this piece. So I just remind you that I will be doing another live stream on May the 8th. That is the next one, May the 8th. Hope to see you there.
Thank you. 